Hi everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial. Today I will show you how you can use Cloudflare for free and also use its free SSL certificate for your any website hosted on Hostinger Hosting. Okay, so uh, I have also cre created a tutorial about this topic before also, but um, since that was not very well explained or some people were not able to follow it properly, so I decided to create another tutorial and in this I will show you every step that is required to enable Cloudflare even if it is not included in your plan. So with Hostinger you can see it is included in my plan, but I will not use it from the Hostinger panel. Instead, we will use the Cloudflare website and directly link our website with Cloudflare from there. Okay. So first thing, um, log into your Hostinger panel and then open this page. I will put a link to this dash.cloudflare.com and your uh, domain registrar website. So if you're using Namecheap or GoDaddy, uh, you will have you will need this to update the name servers. So first, let's create our account at Cloudflare. And it's really simple. Just go to this page. If you have a login, then you can log in directly. If you do not, you will have to click on sign up. Okay. From here, just enter your email ID. Your email ID at the rate gmail.com and here password. Okay. So just create your password here and then click on create now. Then you will get a confirmation email to your email ID. Just confirm it and your account will be ready okay so after doing that what you will do is login so i have already created an account and it's really simple there's no difficulty so i will just uh, directly log into my account and show you the next steps so then log into your account okay so you can see this is how cloudflare dashboard would look like when you have no website included in it okay so let's add our website here just click on this icon and you can also do it from the top here top right side you can just click on add site and it will take you to the same page so then enter your domain name here so my website is this this wpdemo.xyz so it's loading taking time to load some reason so let's add the domain here and then click on add site so now Cloudflare will fetch the name servers and all the DNS records. Um, here, select the free plan. So just click on this and then click on continue. Okay, so now Cloudflare will start scanning the DNS records and then uh, it will automatically add those DNS records and give you uh, Cloudflare name servers. So this process is really easy and very simple and this is how you can use the free SSL certificate instead of buying a new SSL certificate from hosting every time. Um, okay, so you can see it has uh, scanned all these records, existing records. So now you have to just click on continue. Okay, so now Cloudflare wants you to change the DNS servers. So these are our current DNS servers, uh, which are provided by hosting a hosting. You can see these are the records. And this, this is the Cloudflare DNS records we have to update. So just click on copy here, then go to your domain registrar. Okay, so in my previous tutorial, I have shown you how to update the name servers for both Namecheap and GoDaddy, also for Go, uh, Google domains. So if you want uh, to learn how to update the name servers, go watch those videos. Um, I will update the, then copy the second record also, and then update. Then click on this tick mark. So now it will uh, update and it will show you that it will take some hours for the name servers update process to be completed. You can see the notification here. DNS server update may take up to 48 hours. So usually it happens within like 30 minutes to one hour. Okay, so to confirm that uh, the DNS update process is complete, um, you will have to go to Cloudflare website and here click on this, then check name servers after updating. So you can see here configure. Okay, we will do this later. Um, just click on finish later. 
So let's see if the update process is complete. Okay, so Cloudflare is still showing you that uh, to update the name server, it means it does not complete or uh, Cloudflare is not able to detect it. So Cloudflare will period periodically, um, it will keep checking the name server if the update is complete and you will get an email or after 30 minutes, you can manually also check it if you do not get an email from Cloudflare. So you can see here Cloudflare is checking and it will update in few hours. So once the update process is complete, I will resume the video and show you the next from steps. Okay guys, so it's been like 20 minutes and I got this email from Cloudflare. Um, status actor when you can read congratulations uh, our site has been activated so now let's go to cloudflare dashboard and complete the next steps so let's um, refresh this page again okay let's just reload it directly and you can see here great news cloudflare is now protecting your website so now to activate so now we have completed uh, cloudflare activation now let's install the free ssl certificate and go to this SSL TLS tab and from here first select the flexible okay and make turn on this recommender and now go to this edge certificates tab and from here scroll down and uh, turn on this option always use HTTPS okay so it has been done and now let's um, visit our website so right now you can see without Cloudflare this is how it was with not secure Okay, and now let's um, reload and see if we can access use the Cloudflare SSL set. So right now, as you can see, we are still not able to access it over a secure connection, uh, even though it has been migrated to uh, Cloudflare. But still, your computer DNS uh, has not been updated. That okay, this site has been migrated to Cloudflare. So it is still trying to access it over Hostinger and since there is no SSL configured on the server so we are getting this error okay so we will wait for a few more hours and you know refresh it to see if it is still loading from the cloud player okay so after clearing my PC's DNS cache I will try again to see if it is able to, uh, now if we can load it on, on HTTPS let's reload this and now you can see there is an uh, this lock icon so now let's click it and see the certificate information so you can see here that it has been issued by cloudflare and you can see today's date also here from this to this uh, for one year so we have successfully installed free ssl certificate from cloudflare on hosting a hosting okay so now this is a flexible ssl and i will show you an additional step to make your website more secure so for this, let's go to uh, Cloudflare here, Origin Certificates, um, click here, Create Certificate, and um, then just click here. If you have any more subdomains, you can add them. Um, so right now, I just keep, will keep it a default. Um, just for the tutorial, I will create it for one year only, and then click on Next. So this certificate will be generated for you. Now we will copy and add this to hosting a panel. So this will make the connection completely encrypted till our hosting server. Okay. So right now, because we are using flexible SSL, so the connection between Cloudflare to hosting is not secure, but connection between uh, Cloudflare and your visitor is secure. So now let's um, install the certificate on our server to make the connection completely encrypted. Go to hosting a panel, scroll down, and here you will see this SSL option and here um, you will see this custom SSL option so I will add this certificate here so from here this is the origin certificate just copy and paste it here and then again go here this is the private key so again just copy and paste it copy here and in the private key section paste it here and then click on install Okay, so it has been installed now. Um, you can see here this um, US Cloudflare issuer, and uh, you can also force HTTPS from here, but I will not do it from here. Okay, so now let's go to Cloudflare dashboard, then click on OK. Okay, so it's been done, and then you can turn on this option. 
authenticator origin pull so it will only pull data if it can detect that cloudflare certificate on the origin server so it will make the connection more secure okay so it has been done let's try if we can still access the website so you can see it is still working no problem now let's log into the WordPress um, dashboard. This is just additional steps because sometimes it may not, not work for some user, okay? So if it is still, you are not able to access it over HTTPS, which should not be the case, but um, let's say it happens with you. What you have to do is log in. Log into the WordPress dashboard and then go to plugins Click on add new. And we will install a simple SSL plugin like Force SSL. There are many free plugins. Search for here. Uh, there is another plugin called Really Simple. This is a really simple SSL. So just install it, or you can install use this. Let's use this first result and activate it. Okay. So now um let's from here settings go to ssl you can see this progress here ssl is not enabled okay activate ssl okay so that's it guys um so just in case it do not works for you if by installing this plugin it should work you can see here 301 redirect and SSL is activated. Uh, do not worry about this features, premium features. Um, you don't really need them. Okay. And now you should be able to access your website over HTTPS. Okay. But install and use this plugin only after the Cloudflare SSL is working properly. Else you may not be able to access your website uh, if you install the plugin and HTTPS is not working on your website. So that's it guys for this video and do let me know if you are still uh, confused about any part of the video or you are not able to follow anything. I hope I tried my best to make it simple and show you all the steps involved uh, to, uh, to activate free Cloudflare SSL certificate on your hosting a website. And do give this video a like and post your feedback in the comments how you like this video and if it was helpful and I will see you in the next video.